Richard, we're getting a lot of letters from people about their hot water faucets. They're either tired of waiting for the hot water to show up or they're tired of wasting the cold right. water watching it go down the drain. A lot of water going down there. Think about the issue. In most of these bigger houses, we've got a water heater somewhere in the basement, in the garage, but it's a long way from that water heater to the furthest plumbing fixture in the house. When you want hot water at that furthest point, you've got to empty all the cooler water that's been sitting in that pipe before you can get any hot water. And all that cool water is literally going down the drain. Hence the waste. That's and right. the waste. That's right. So now on bigger houses and any commercial building, you need to install a thing called a recirculation line. Now, a recirculation line is a separate pipe that runs off the hot water line out at the farthest fixture and runs all the way back to the hot water heater. Back at the heater is a pump that moves hot water through the recirculation line. It'll get hot water to the furthest plumbing fixture and will deposit any cool water that was in the line back to the water heater where it gets reheated. This way, hot water is ready for you when you need it and cool water is not wasted. That's pretty nice that you got hot water at any faucet right. whenever you want. So now, the couple of things that are important. This is a recirculation pump. This one's actually stainless, but they have to be the bronze or stainless steel. And there's some important devices. We have to be sure there's a check valve. Now, a check valve makes sure that the water only goes in the right direction, goes back to the water heater. So no connection between hot and cold, right. improper connection. That's right, otherwise you have a cross connection. So this is a thing called a sensor called an aquastat. This would strap on to the pipe and be sure that once that water was already coming back hot from that father's mm. faucet, it would then shut the pump off. I like that because this one's not on 24-7 right. in that case. And then this is a timer. You want to make sure you're not maintaining this heated line when you're away at work or you're asleep at night. And so is that what they do? They install one and then cobble two, three, and four on top of there? We always did. But it's getting easier, thankfully. This is actually a unit right here. It's got a check valve built right here has a timer right here, has a sensor built in like right there, that. and you plug it in. Yeah. This one's pretty smart. This one actually has some smarts built in that watches how much water you use and when you use it, and it'll program itself so it's a timer that sets itself automatically the way you use that. Very clever. But you said you've got to cut in a line from the hot water, say the farthest one away, down to the basement. Yeah. I'm assuming that's sort of new construction because that's not yeah, an easy that, retrofit. That can be hard to do. So there's a couple of variations that let you use the existing cold water line as the recirculation line. Let me show you what I mean. You can put a bronze pump like this down at the water heater. Mm -hmm. And then up at the faucet, up at that farthest fixture, here's the hot water pumping in right here. I'm sorry, actually this way. Here's the hot water pumping in right here, going up to the faucet. Here's yeah. the coal right here. Now that pump will push heated water across into the cold water line Very until good. it feels temperature and then shut off. So now you're not letting that water waste to the drain. Very nice. Okay, right. so that you have to make that connection That's at right. some point in the system between the cold water line and the hot Absolutely. water line. Absolutely. So here's a, another system that we've used before. And you can see if you've got a vanity like this, you can put this underneath. Here's the T right here cut into the hot water side. There's the T at the cold water side. Now with a little activation button over here, you bring this pump on. It pumps water over here. All that cold water that was in that hot water line mm -hmm. pumps across till it feels temperature right here and then it shuts off. So instead of letting it go down the drain, you get letting it go back through the cold water line. So when you install the pump at a uh, faucet versus down at the tank, does that mean that's a single point of use device? Because I mean, I have to stand here in the morning, walk in, push the button. Well, it is, but it isn't. Meaning you could make it be a standalone with that button, but they also have a wireless unit that can bring it on. So you could be in another bathroom and make this thing come on. And once we've established flow through here, all the bathrooms off the line, we get hot water. Very nice. Okay. So it sounds like it's great for convenience and comfort. Um, are you worried about waste because now we've got water circulating and pumps going? It always worries me that a recirc line improperly controlled could be the, one of the biggest energy wasters in the whole building. Because what you're doing is take a perfectly good heated water that was in that tank. Sure circulating it through the building, bring it back, let it cool off, and bring it here, and then it makes the burner fire again. So you want to do it right. Okay. Well, I suspect you do it nothing but right. Try Thank you, Richard. All right.